Hey, how are you today? I'm pretty good, actually, as it turns out. I was a little bit bored, so I figured I'd just, you know, like, hop on here and run my mouth and try a few new makeup products. Um, I surprisingly got a free $50 gift card to Walmart the other day, and I thought, what better way to use an unexpected free $50 gift card uh, than to buy a bunch of new makeup with it? And by a bunch, I mean I get, like, four or five things. So, um... So yeah, we're just gonna give those things a try. I, every time I like, let's try some new makeup. I never, I never really have any rhyme or reason to like trying new things. I literally just walk around and I'm like, hmm, that looks interesting. Especially if it's from a brand that I don't, or I haven't particularly tried a lot of things from. I always try and like branch out because I find myself like ch choosing the same brands over and over again. So I try and branch out every once in a while. And um, you know, just, 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 just put myself out there and try new things. <laughs> Will I ever get over this awkwardness? Probably not. Probably not. I just live here. Sorry in advance for the mildly drowned rat um, retirement home look I'm rocking over here. I'm not really sure what's going on a day-to-day -day basis, but uh, here we are. So let's just dive into it. I'm going to stop rambling. Hi, I'm Katie. If you're <clears throat> somehow new here. Um, and we're gonna, we're gonna try a, a couple, bunch, come, uh, uh, uh. <clears throat> we're just gonna jump in and try the new shit that I bought at Walmart. All right. Okay, first up, I'm gonna go ahead and slap this on my face. This is the Milani Glow Drops, um, Radiance Boosting Serum. Use the last step in your skincare routine or as a non-shimmer dewy base for makeup. So we're gonna, we're gonna try that. Because, man, my it, it's almost the end of winter, but my skin is so dry. So anything, anything, anything that might help the dryness of the existence of my skin currently. Oh, it's a little bit pigmented. Okay. It's going to run. I did not expect it to be pigmented at all, but okay. Whatever. Cool. Let's see. Oh, wait. Okay. Okay, this smells like tanning lotion, kind of strongly. It's a little bit much, I'm gonna be honest. In case you don't know how I feel about fragrance, I know there's a lot of opinions and I know that fragrance is like one of those things that irritates a lot of people's skin. I have sensitive skin and I have not found fragrance to be exceptionally irritating for me. The only irritating part about it is that it is inescapable. Um, I'm gonna put a little bit more on just because my skin is so dry. Okay. Well, it does look quite radiant, so that's nice. I just wish it didn't have such a strong fragrance. I just really, I'm getting really fed up with the fucking hit you in the face fragrance. Like from every brand, every once in a while I'll try something. And I'm like, was it really necessary? Was it really necessary to make it smell that strongly? Who, show me in the comments, who is here for strongly fragranced skincare and makeup because I'm just curious who this is for maybe it's for somebody and it's not me I don't know like I said I'm not even worried so much about the the irritation factor because I don't uh, fortunately that that doesn't bother my skin everything else does but that doesn't um but man I just want to not be able to smell random tanning bed lotion all day so hopefully hopefully this just paints moving on Okay, I did just prime my eyes and um, gel my brows up. I'm still using this, um, the NYX, the brow, the NYX, the brow glue. Wow. <clears throat> NYX, the brow glue. Um, it's come to my attention that I may not be letting this dry all the way before I try filling in the rest of my eyebrows because I'm noticing as I'm looking back at my photos that I'm not real crazy about how stampy on my eyebrows look for me personally. So, um, 
I'm going to try and let that gel dry down before I put my foundation on so it doesn't smear my foundation all the way all over my face or like separate it. And uh, then I'm going to try and fill it in later and just we're just going to see how this goes. Every time I fuck with my brow routine, I end up regretting it. Well, that's not true. Most times I fuck with my brow routine, I end up regretting it. But we're going to, we're just, you know what? It's all about trying new things. <laughs> anyway, um, for eyeshadow today, I have never tried any Milani eyeshadow products. Is that true? Yeah, that's definitely true. So I picked up this little tiny palette from Milani, the uh, 120 Outlaw Olive, the most wanted eyeshadow palette. Your most wanted eyeshadow shades with criminally intense pigment. Okay, let's try that out. So to start with, I think I'm gonna pick this second from the end shade, this guy, right? That one, that one. Could I have made that more awkward? Probably. And I am gonna just try kind of a new shape that I've never tried before. Um, so, uh, we're just trying a whole bunch of new shit today. This might backfire. Oh well. Okay, now that I've got that, I've got to stop saying okay. I Editing my videos, I have not counted how many times I start everything off with okay, or okay, or okay, or okay. A million different renditions of okay. And I'm tired of myself, so. It's gonna be real hard, but we're gonna we're gonna move past it. All right. So now that I've got that brown down, I'm gonna go in with this green shade right here on the outer corner, and I think I'm gonna wing it <laughs> like I always do. Okay, I think I'm pretty happy with. Damn it! <laughs> I'm gonna give myself a complex about the okay thing, and then I'm never gonna be able to get rid of it. So. I'm pretty happy with this shape. So we're gonna try and copy it on the other eye. Cross your fingers or hold on to your butts, whichever one you prefer. Okay, so that's, I need to start wearing a rubber band and every time I say, okay, I'm just gonna like hard, hard. I have to break myself of saying the word, okay. Most people to do do that stop cursing. Not me. I'm not giving up on cursing. No, no, no. That's not going anywhere. The okay. I've got to go. All right. So <laughs> this is where we are right now. I am not sure if it's me or these eyeshadows, but I'm noticing that they. I'm having a little bit of a hard time making them build up. Um, I'm kind of feeling like as I try and build it up, sometimes it's just dusting away and leaving kind of like a patchy. It's just not blending very evenly. That could be me. It could be the eyeshadows. It could be the eyeshadow base. It could be any number of things. I'm willing to take the blame, honestly. Anyway, that's where we are now. So now I'm trying to figure out which eyeshadow, which one of these shimmery shades I want to go over the lid with. Okay, so here are the shimmery shades I have to work with and here are the swatches of them. This is actually left to right. This guy, this guy, and this guy. So, hmm, oh, come on. Oh, come on. Why are you now focusing on my face? Focus on my hand. There we go. Hmm, I'm kind of feeling this guy. And this guy, but I don't know. Okay, I think I'm gonna put this guy on the lid and maybe this guy in the inner corner, this one. Fuck it, let's see. <clears throat> I didn't do it. I'm already learning. Okay, no! So, <laughs> um, the last thing I'm gonna do before I move on to the rest of my face for a little bit is take this little bone shade right here. This is not matte, but I, maybe like a satin finish and I'm just going to pop it right here where the brown and the green have kind of come together and just see if that maybe smooths out that transition just a little bit better. Truth be known, I don't really know if that did anything. Hmm. 
Mm. This this corner right here is really not wanting to to build up and stay built up. Like if I apply the color and then try and blend it like this corner is, it's just it's just really wanting to stay in this kind of gappy, not so smooth thing. Again, that could be me. Could be me. I am really happy with the way this copper shade went on the lid though. I think it's really pretty. So I may have fucked up. I forgot that I bought this um hard candy click and flick smudge proof pomade. I bought this because the pack, I mean the um the application looks interesting. The little applicator right here. Oh my god. That little guy looks interesting. So I'm gonna do this before I put my foundation on just in case the smears all over my face. Um, I just don't know. I may have fucked up by putting that gel on because it is dry now and it is it is stiff. So interesting. So it's a little brush tip. A little actually like a water droplet shape brush tip. And you got a clicky button on the bottom. These only make me nervous because I feel like you get frustrated and you click like 80 million times and then nothing happens and then suddenly all of the product in this tube is all over the place. See, I'm already losing patience. Any second now I'm going to regret this. There it goes. Okay, what color is that? That's a very ashy brown. What what's the what's the shade? Light medium. Okay. That is the I kind of like smudged it out a little bit. I think that's a good color. We'll see how this. See, I knew I was cranking out too much. Okay, so I do think I may have made a mistake going in with the NYX brow glue before I tried this. I completely forgot that I had a pomade thing to try. So you can see the difference. It, it's a nice shade. I like the shade. It's um probably going to take some use, getting used to using this applicator, to be perfectly honest. It's not the neatest. Hmm. I'm really not sure how I feel about this. We got to do the other eyebrow though, so let's see. Do I get better as, at this as the day goes on or worse? Hmm. Okay. Really quickly. I feel like this has potential. I feel like I did absolutely fuck up by putting the NYX brown glue on first. So I don't feel like I'm going to be able to give a fair opinion on this, but I think this has potential. I do like the little teardrop shaped um, brush because it really does get in my very stubborn brow hairs that my brow hairs just want to stay where they grow. They do not want to be put up at all. Um, so I can't really say if it's this product that's helping hold it up as much as it is maybe the NYX Brow Glue. The main critique that I have about this is that is the amount of, of pigment or pigmented gel that comes out of the applicator for one pump is a lot. And it does not really distribute the pigment evenly through the brows. Like you really have to, I, have, I started like kind of dabbing off how much that comes out and then trying to fill in the gap gaps that it left because wherever I initially went in with a new drop on here, wherever I initially went in, there were like little stamp marks. Um, I was able to blend them away for the most part, but that is something to be aware of. It does, it doesn't necessarily apply the even the most even. But this is also new, and I also already have brow gel in my brows. I think this has potential. I wish I hadn't fucked myself. Since I've already gone this far with my brows, I am just going to go ahead and try and clean them up because it's bugging me. It's bugging me, so I'm going to take this NYX um, Precision Brow Pencil in the shade Ash Brown and just see if I can clean this up just a tiny bit. So, I picked up the e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. Um, in the shade Fair 120M. I saw that this was kind of difficult to color match yourself to. And I also think that I may have seen that this oxidizes to a different shade, which I, I is, it happened, that happens with a lot of e.l.f. products. I don't understand what that is, why they oxidize. 
but I've heard that this has a really nice finish. It does say color correcting, full coverage, natural finish. Collagen, peptides, and niacinamide. Mm. And you know what? For old time's sake, I haven't done my makeup in, with a sponge in so long. I don't even remember. So this used to be my favorite way to apply foundation for like a million years. And then like one day I just stopped. Do you ever have that thing that you've done? It's such a part of your routine that you don't even think about it anymore. It just happens when you do a certain thing. You always have the same process. And then one day you stop doing it. I mean, you've done this for years, years, really long time. And then one day you just stop doing it and you never do it again. Does that happen to anybody else? Am I alone? Okay, so I am just going to take one little, one little, one little, there we go, pump. All right, this looks like the shade is going to be nice. So I'm going to place this all over my face. That may be too much. Get into it. It's a look. Ooh, this may be too pale. Wait, no, I just said that they oxidize, so maybe it's not. You know, I'm not wild about the way that applied with the sponge. I'm going to be totally honest. So I'm, I'm underwhelmed at the application of the sponge. I'm going to be totally, totally, totally honest. But I think I'm going to let it sit for a minute. I will also say that I think that um, the next brow glue, because I did my brows before I did my foundation, I didn't do the best job at cleaning this corner over here. I just don't know how I feel about this coverage with the sponge because everybody else I watched their reviews with this product, they definitely put it out with the brush. Or maybe I'll let it sit for a minute and see how it interacts with my skin. Okay, I did just, God bless America, the okay. <clears throat> I just, uh, while I was waiting on this foundation to see if it's gonna like interact with my skin and kind of maybe set a little bit, Whatever, I um, did conceal my under eyes with the Revolution Pro Ultimate Crip Coverage Crease Proof Concealer in the shades C1. And where's the other one? In my pocket, dummy. That's where it is. Um, C1 and C.1. Um, I've been using this concealer in a really long time. My only critique, I do like this concealer. My only critique is that this is impossible to squeeze out of this tube if your room is cold. Throw the sucker in your pocket and let it warm up and it'll be way easier to squeeze out because you don't need that much. You really don't need that much. I really do like this product. I do not like how hard it is to get out of this tube, but you know what? I like the product so much that I'll let it slide. I'll let it slide. But that's the concealer I used under my eyes. Now that the foundation has set on my face a little bit longer, I do like, I do feel that it is uh, kind of setting and like working with my skin. I do like the, the coverage of it. I think I'm still just kind of dealing with some residual resentment <clears throat> for the breakout that my skin decided to um, put me through for the last month and a half. <laughs> rude but uh i am going to use a mixture of elf um the hydrating camo concealer in the shades fair rose and light peach i'm just gonna kind of mix them together and spot conceal as best i can all right i'm very happy with touching up a few places with concealer very happy i really like this finish i think this is like just at least in person is looking pretty skin like which I'm realizing also, as I'm not, as I'm looking at my photos and not being super happy with my brows, I'm also realizing I put on way more foundation than I ever did before, like way more. In the last three years, my foundation foundation usage has gotten out of hand. So uh, I personally feel like I'm gonna just, I'm gonna try and be stepping it back a little bit because I just I'm starting to feel like I look like cake face, and that's not for me. That's for you, but it's not for me. No offense, just not for me. I am gonna let that concealer set because I do have a cream blush to try and I'm always nervous about trying cream, cream blushes and I always seem to try them when I have breakouts where I'm going to, you know, where I, where I would really not like it to um, shift my base. So that's, that's gonna be interesting. But while I let that set down, I am gonna go in with that uh, kind of golden olive -y shade right here on my inner corner. 
So I just realized I am one shade away from using this entire palette and I think I know where I can put it. I just don't know if I'm, I am a little nervous about building these metallic shades on top of each other and like ruining the whole thing here near the end. Fuck it, let's try it. I'm gonna take this darker olive shade, this one right here, and I'm gonna put it on the outer corner just to see, just, just because why not? Why not? Can you even tell? Probably not. So that means we'll just go ahead and even it out on this eye and call it a day. That was probably a waste of time, to be perfectly honest. But that's my fault for not trying it earlier. I think it really did not do... It deepened up that um, brighter gold shade a little bit, but it really didn't do... It really didn't do much. So, I haven't tried anything by Maybelline and I don't even remember how long, but I did pick up this uh, Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush in the shade Nude Burn. This might be too pink. So because I have no idea how pigmented this is, I am gonna go and I've just got the tiniest little dot on the back of my hand right here. It is a little pinker. I looked up swatches. And I'm about to stop looking up motherfucking swatches because Either I'm going colorblind, have been colorblind, or these motherfucking swatches are just, just, just fucking me up. So I'm going to take a little duo fiber brush, a little stippling brush, and I'm going to start with a little bit, just because I don't know how pigmented this is going to be. Oh. Okay, it's actually registering much darker on camera than it is in person. In person, I can barely see that. Yeah, that's reading much darker on camera than it is in person. Interesting. It's not moving my concealer around or my base around, which is good, but it's also, did it say sheer? Am I losing my mind? Let's see. Sheer gel cream, but it did. Okay. Yes, I agree. Sheer. Okay. Pros. Doesn't shift your base underneath it. So that's nice. Uh, buildable, very buildable because it is sheer. It, I mean, it says it on the label. I will say it doesn't apply as evenly as I would like. Maybe a brush is not the best technique. Um, I did go a little bit heavier handed, which is always what happens. I'm like, Ooh, just a little bit. And then <clears throat> before I know it, it's too fucking much. So we're going to tone this down a little bit. It is reading much darker on camera than it is in person. I would like to also reiterate that point. So I'm just going to go back over this with my sponge I applied my foundation with and see if that kind of tamps that down just a little bit. So just to clean up just this area right here and make it look a little bit sharper. Not sharp sharp, not carved out, but I do just, I feel like I lost a little bit of definition back here. So I am just gonna bring that up just in the back of my jaw. All right, I am gonna take this ColourPop um, Robbie Christie X ColourPop collaboration um, spare time pencil and put it in my waterline. So I just threw a little bit of liquid eyeliner on just to, cause I'm definitely gonna put eyelashes with this. Um, I felt like the lash line was losing a little bit of depth and definition, so I just threw some liquid eyeliner on there. So for lashes today, I've got these Ardell Professional 3D Foam Ink, and then, uh, oh, 854, 854. I have, never used these. All right, so while I let the lash glue set just a little bit before I try and put them on, you know the drill. I'm let that stuff dry a little bit, otherwise it's a disaster. For lips, I have, not opened the package completely. <laughs> okay, I have this Powder Puff Lippy from NYX Professional Makeup in the shade, what is this? Moody. I'm squeezing. <sighs> is anything happening? Let's see if I can. Nope. Okay. I really don't want this to glob out everywhere. I'm getting. My God in heaven, why is this so difficult? Okay, there, it's coming, it's coming. Okay, it's coming. All right, let's see, can I do it now? Mm, no, what in the world? Okay, 
There we go. Good Lord. This is a fucking whole mess. Wow. Okay, so I am not crazy about this applicator at all. This looks like a whole mess. What am I, five? I don't know how to put on lipstick. <laughs> okay, I'm not wild about, I, I like the shade and I, I feel like the product is just fine, but I am not crazy about that applicator. So now I'm gonna have to clean that up because that looks, that looks terrible. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> that's just fucking real bad. Okay, to clean that up, I am gonna take my concealer brush and a little bit of the foundation and just kind of try and like, <clears throat> okay, um, that doesn't look much better than it did when it start when I started, does it? No, it doesn't. Um, we're gonna go ahead and put our eyelashes on though before that glue completely dries, and then we'll worry about the slip crisis in a minute. Okay, so this is the finished look. Um, lashes on and everything. So let's talk. I feel like I look like somebody's wild ass grandma at nursing home bingo night. Real quick, this eyelash glue is still is still drying. The whole thing just like popped right off my eyeball right in the middle of me talking, which was incredibly rude. <clears throat> Moving on. So while it sucker dries down and looks weird while it does it, um, I guess let's get into what I what I think about all the stuff that I got. How about it? I really like the shade of this and I like the product itself. I 100% hate this applicator. 100% can't stand it. Um, I feel like it would be better for people that don't have smaller lips, maybe. Or maybe that have the blurred lip trend down, which I 100% don't. Um, every time I try it, it looks ridiculous on me. And I'm sure that's me, not the pro. I mean, if every time I do it, it looks ridiculous, the problem is myself. <clears throat> you know, I, I, I own that, it's me. I just don't like this applicator at all. I also don't like how hard you have to squeeze to get everything out of there, man. That was annoying. But I like the shade and I like the product itself. So maybe I'll get better at uh, at that with time. Who knows? The e.l.f. Camo CC Cream. I like this. I like this. I'll try this again. I feel like it dried down really nicely um, when I can get rid of these awful scabs on my face, I feel like it'll look even better. Um, it's just, I mean, it's not the product itself, but you can kind of probably see how like that dry little spot does have like a little bit of clinginess to it, but I don't, I mean, I don't think it's necessarily this product so much as it is the dryness of my face. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I do like this. I think the shade match is pretty good. I like the the finish. I like the coverage. I, stomach. I will try this with a brush, I think, next time. But I do like it. I will be using it again. It feels really nice on my face. I don't feel like I have uh, foundation on my face, which is nice. Nice. Real nice. Okay, stop. Moving on. This brow product. I don't feel like it's fair for me to give this a review, considering I kind of fucked up and used the NYX Brow Glue. Before I use this, I kind of forgot I had this. I think I can make this work. Yeah, I think I can make this work when I'm not using the brow the brow glue because it did get a little bit gummy right over here. Um, the shade is a little darker than I anticipated, but I don't mind how dark it is. I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see the shape of this guy. Focus, focus on this, not my face. Not on my face. Focus on the thing. Focus on the thing. Please. There we go. You see that teardrop shape? Um, and it's got little tiny plastic bristles. I feel like this has potential, I really do. I wish I hadn't fucked up and used the brow glue first. Uh, I will say it does deposit a fair amount out of that little tiny hole in the center. I think it puts too much product out at a time. So I would dip I would um, kind of dab it off before you went into your brows because the first time I didn't do that and I did kind of get some like stamping effect, which I wasn't really going for. Um, but I do think this has potential and I will be using this again just to try because I don't feel like it's fair for me to give a yay or nay when I fucked up and used that other brow, brow gel first. 
That was my bad dog, my bad. The Maybelline Cheek Heat Sheer Gel Cream Blush. I like this. I like this a lot. I think it's a nice, I, I mean, I agree. Sheer Gel Cream Blush. I agree, that's a great, that's an accurate, accurate product description. I like the color. Um, I like the coverage. I like the way it feels on my face. It blended out really nicely. It's not patchy. Uh, well, hold up. I, okay, so I feel like this dries down fairly quickly. It doesn't get stiff as it dries or anything. It just, like, it stops depositing color. So there's a happy medium between not, not enough and way too fucking much. So I do appreciate that this can be built up, though. Like... I like a versatile product, you know? I, I can appreciate something that that's stamped on and blended out, but I can also, you know, really get behind something that um that builds up easily, and this builds up nicely. Um, again, it is clinging a little bit to the dry scabs on my face from my breakouts, but I, I mean, I that's not just this. I feel like anything, anything would do that. Okay, this eyeshadow palette, um, I think for $9, this is really nice. Um, it is a little persnickety. The mattes are a little bit persnickety, but mattes are usually, I mean, mattes can be. Um, I really do like the metallic shades. The shimmers are very, very pretty. Uh, that goldish green that I put in the inner corner, I think might be my, my favorite. I maybe wish I had put that all on my lid instead, but I'm, I'm happy with, with where it is. I didn't get necessarily the best, um, uh, payoff from this, but I did try to layer it over this. So I'm sure that's the that's the problem. Not necessarily that this product that this shade isn't isn't good. I think it just doesn't really layer well over the other shimmer, which is not a problem. Um, I really do like actually this kind of bone um, satin product it, or product <laughs> satin shade. It did help blend out my brow bone just a little bit nicer than I than it was originally. Um, it didn't really, I mean, it's ba basically the, the color are a little bit brighter than my skin. I also like that it's mostly, I mean, it is a satin, but I've kind of gotten away from highlighting my brow bone. I feel like it makes my brow bone look heavy and droopy, so not my favorite. Um, I did find that this brown shade I had to build up multiple times. Um, it either kind of blended away a little bit more than I wanted it to, or it just kind of faded. I'm not really sure which one. I want to say it kind of faded because I really didn't fuck with it much. I just kept having to build it up. Yeah, I think it just kind of faded, which is, I mean, for this, this palette was $8.97. So this palette was only about $9. So I'm not, I'm not really going to throw a temper tantrum over a couple of mats needing to be a little bit zhuzhed. You know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, I think this is a nice little, um, little palette. The, the shimmers are beautiful. I really like those a lot. And the best part about these shimmers is they, they work with a brush. I'm real tired. I said it already, but uh, I think it bears repeating. I'm real tired. I'm real tired of shimmers that, that work best with your fingers. Now listen, I'm going to keep getting on the soapbox because I'm tired of it. <laughs> As a former professional makeup artist, I really do appreciate products that you like you can use with your fingers. That's great. That's awesome. As a pro makeup artist, you do use your fingers, I think, way more than people realize. And it's really nice to be able to like tap in a cream blush or a cream highlight with just your fingers. Some products just work really nicely with your fingers, like the heat of your skin. It just works very nicely. That being said, my main problem with shimmers that have to be used or work best with fingers is that's not a precise application, ever, ever. And if that's what you're going for and you can't do it because you can't get that shimmer to pick up with a brush, that's really fucking irritating. Sorry, uh, but seriously, like I'm getting real tired of the like applying with your fingers. I'm, I can't, and I know that's no one's fault or problem but my own, but I mean, where did that trend come from and can it go back there? Am I alone in my feelings about this? Because it's really starting to, to irritate me. <laughs> so that being said, I appreciate that these shimmers for a $9 palette um, picked up beautifully with the brush. No problem. And that's great. Thank you, Milani. 
Thank you. The Milani Glow Drops Radiance Boosting Serum. I really like this. This felt really nice on my face. The scent has dissipated. I did remember to mention that. The scent that at first I was really not crazy about has dissipated. Thank Jeebus. I really, that's another thing I'm getting tired of. I, again, I'm just going to keep saying it. I do not mind fragrance in products understanding that fragrance is unnecessary to add and can sometimes be an irritant. The irritating thing to me is the inescapable, overwhelming, incredibly strong scent that doesn't dissipate, that lingers throughout the day. I fucking hate that. I fucking hate that. I don't know what that move is, but it can sure get right the fuck out. It can, it can go... It, it can it can go the same place that shimmer shadows that can only be used with your fingers. But those those can fuck off together, and I don't care where they go. But the scent on this did dissipate, thank God. So um, not mad about that at all. And it felt really nice on my skin. My skin feels really hydrated, which it hasn't in about four months because <laughs> I live in front of a space heater. I also feel like that primer did a very nice job. It's either the primer or the foundation. I'm not really sure. Uh, did a nice, like, smoothing effect. Yeah, I just feel like my foundation applied really evenly and nicely on top of that primer. I think that's all the products that I purchased new today. Everything else was um, something I already owned. I think I'm going to get pretty much everything I tried today another try. Because I, I feel like, you know, first impressions are, as, as first impressions go, nice. Nice. I will say... I did not realize that this e.l.f. foundation is $14. That's, that's, um, that's a little high for e.l.f., I think. E.l.f. is usually a lot more affordable than that. I mean, $14 is not, not, like, not affordable. It's just that e.l.f., everything else is so inexpensive that, um, that's a little bit high. But, oh well. Um, I guess that may or not, may not be worth noting. Anyway, I'm gonna take my, um, grandma at bingo night ass up out of here and see you guys next time i'll list all the products i used in the description box as always um it would be super swell of you to like this video subscribe if you haven't leave a comment if you wanna i don't know uh follow me on instagram and tiktok that would be cool i never use twitter i put it in my description box i never use it um i'm trying to get better about that is that gonna happen mm, don't hold your breath um, but I'll put it down there anyway. Uh, yeah, guys, if there's any specific products you want me to try, you just want to know my opinion on, let me know. If there's anything that you think I'm just going to love, that would be also great. Um, if there are any specific types of videos you want me to do, let me know. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, if you do all those things that I asked for, or you already have, um, thank you for that as well. Just, you know. I always want to be grateful for the support that I get from you guys. Because, you know, you don't have to. Yeah, angels. So, um, so, yeah. I think that that's gonna be it from me today. Awkward question mark trail off. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's it. All right, guys. So, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope you've got something exciting to look forward to or just nothing stressful on the horizon. Um, I think spring is just like right around the corner and I am real here for it because I'm tired of winter. I'm tired of being cold. Super tired of being cold. Super tired of being sleepy and cold. Man, the vitamin D deficiency is real over here. So uh, I hope you guys are taking care. And that's going to be it before this gets any more awkward. Wow. All right. I'll see you guys next time.